kings and queens. My name is Joyce McTeer and I am your host for another Crafty Vision segment. Today I'm going to show you all how to make a hoop cowie shell earring. Here are the items that you're going to need for this here how to make video. You're going to need your round nose pliers and your wire cutters. You're going to need two pieces of 20 two pieces of 20 gauge copper wire. One piece, is you, wanna, you want it to be at least 24 inches long. No, actually you're gonna need three pieces, but two pieces is going to be 20 gauge, okay? You're gonna need uh, one piece, 24 inches. You're gonna need another piece about 14 inches. And you're going to need another piece about nine and a half inches. Okay, nine and a half inches, but this is 16 gauge. So you're gonna need three pieces a total of three pieces of copper wire all together. You're going to need five cowie shells, and you're also going to need a your assortment of your seed beads that you would like to use, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to take our wire, and you're gonna wrap your wire around your short piece of wire. You're gonna take your 20, 20 gauge, copper wire and wrap it around the 16 gauge copper wire and we're just going to wrap it a couple of times and you want to come down a little bit about an inch and a half on your wire and you just want to wrap this and you want to wrap it at least about three to four times okay and once you get it wrapped you're just making some coils. You're gonna take your first cowie shell and you're gonna add your cowie shell on. When you add your cowie shell on, you're gonna put it on this way. You're gonna take your wire through the front, just like this. Bring your shell all the way up, okay? You're gonna take it all the way up like this. And then you're going to take and hold your cowie shell on your wire. Now this is gonna take some adjusting to get used to. So you're gonna place it like that. You're gonna take your wire from the back of your cowie shell, bring it to the back, bring your cowie shell down, and you're going to wrap it. One, two, and bring it up, okay? one two and bring it up now what you're going to do next is you're going to add on some of your seed beads so you're going to add on add them on and, and what you can do is you can you can put them on by color or you can just put them on however you choose to okay so i have i have six on and then you want to bring these down just like okay. this. Once we get our cowie shell on and we add on our beads, we're going to take our wire and bring it over like this. Okay. And that's pretty much how your earring is starting to look. You want to try to place your cowie shell in the middle of your wire onto the back if at all possible. And then you want to take Got too many beads, so I'm gonna have to take this one off. You wanna hold it in place and you wanna wrap it. You wanna start wrapping it, so you wanna hold it as tight as you can and start wrapping it just like this. Okay. And you wanna wrap it about four times. I mean about five times. So I have three four 
and then five. And then you wanna bring your piece up like that. Okay? So that's our first shell. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna speed this up and add on our next shells. Okay, y'all, so we got all of our cowie shells on. This is what it's going to look like. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this other piece of our 20 gauge wire and we're gonna wrap it again, okay? And my reason for wrapping it is because the style that I want to show you all how to make, you want it to be reinforced. So that means you want your shells not to move, okay? okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my, my wire, come here, and I'm going to wrap this a couple of times like this, right over top, right here. And I am going, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this bead about three or four times. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come just like this, okay? Go around in between where the loop is, go over like this. Go down again, go over like this. I got a lot of wires, so just bear with me, y'all. I'm gonna go down again, go over. See what I'm doing? Go down again, go over, and I'm just going around it. When I get here, I'm gonna wrap it, bam, bam, twice, come back over, and come down like this, okay? Now I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna wrap it twice, boom, boom, okay? Now I'm gonna come and start wrapping this just like this, all the way around, okay? Just go all the way around. It doesn't necessarily, you want it to be as tight if at all possible, but you wanna wrap it a couple times because you want it to stay in place. So this is about three times, boom, boom, okay? Come back over on this side, come down, come here, boom, boom, okay? When I'm saying boom, boom, that means I'm wrapping it. Then you wanna just come here, start wrapping, just like this, take it all the way around. Continue to come down, continue to wrap. Then when you get to the top, you wrap it twice, boom, boom. Take it to the back, take it to this part, bring it back down, wrap it twice, boom, boom. Come back here and do the same exact thing. Just like this, you're just basically trying to, <clears throat> like I said, give it some support. All right, you wrap it twice, boom, boom. Come back over, come down, and you wanna come here, boom, boom, wrap it. And then this is the very last one. So you just continue to wrap just like this, all the way around. Continue to wrap, and we are pretty much almost out of it. And then you can come down and wrap here. You wanna take your wire, 
and then finish it off right here. Just like this. Okay, then you can take and snip this part off at the top. So you snip that off. Then you come down here on this part. You wrap it once or twice. And then you can snip this part right here off like that. And then you wanna take your pliers and just come and squeeze this in to make sure that it won't stick or anything like that. And this is what you're gonna have. So the very last thing you wanna do is you wanna mold. So you see how easy that was? Once you uh, do that, it won't allow the air ring to mold. Your beads will stay in place, okay? That's the back of your air ring. And then you wanna take and bring these two together like this. You wanna take one piece, pinch it over, and wrap it around like this. Pinch this piece up. You wanna wrap it as many times as you see fit. You can do it two, three, four times, how many times you see fit. Okay. Wrap it around. And then when you get here, all you do is snip this off like this. Okay, this is what your earring is looking like. Straighten it out. And then you pinch this over. You come up some little ways to the top, snip it. You make your loop like this. And then you have your earring. And then you can put your fish hook on just like this. And you got yourself a really cute pair of earrings. All right. So here's your earrings. The ear, the um, wire that I use, uh, the fish hook is definitely copper wire uh, that I use, which is 20 gauge copper wire. But these are your earrings. They do have a little weight to it, but they're not that heavy. Uh, they will be comfortable for you to wear on your ear. Okay, and I think these are really, really cute. Now, if you want to, you can add as many uh, shells as you want, but don't forget, the more shells you add, uh, the more cowrie shells you add to make them bigger, they will get heavier, okay? They do have a nice size weight to them, but they're not too heavy for your ears, okay? So I wanna take this time to say thank you all so much for uh, watching. If you are new and this is your very first time here on this platform, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please make sure that when you subscribe, you hit the uh, bell so that when I upload more videos, you will definitely be notified. I wanna take this time to say thank you all for watching. Until my next upload, peace and blessings, everyone. See ya.